Hi everyone, I am Nana and as you can see this is a live construction site. I don't want to disclose the name but I've realized that there are few videos on YouTube that shows people how to use TX16. So what I'm going to do is to take you through the basics. Okay? So now, this is the TS16. That's the on button. You see on the TS06 Plus or the TS06, you normally see the on button and you press it, right? But in this case, it's modernized. So that's the on button. Your function keys. Okay? And now, normally you want to set up the bubble, right? You can see it's not level. So to level it, use these screws, the 10 screws, yeah? Which you already know. Another way to ensure that it's level is to click this icon here. So we will click it. Change face, level bubble, current setup. So you want to level the bubble. Okay? So with that, it's not easy that I'm videoing and then I'm trying to do that. But let me see what I can do. See? I'm trying to get it in, right? Right. Okay. So you want to keep it in single digits as much as possible. And then you can then fine tune it. And as you can see, it's done. So you press OK. Now, there's this function here. Depending on if you're using the prism as the guy is using, then that's when you use that. But if you're going to use these retro targets, like, um, let me see if I can show you some. Like that. To set up a station, then, you will have to change the target by clicking on here. No, not that. The next one. The measured target. And that's how you change it. So if you're using that prism, it's the Leica 360 prism. But if you want to use a reflective target, that's it. The reason why you need to be mindful of is the Leica constants may vary. See, with the prism, you have 23.1. The reflective tip, you have 34.4. And these error margins really count when you're doing setting out. So, viewers, that's it for today. I'll take you through more in the subsequent videos.